The peak months for avalanche danger are January through March, yet several avalanche warnings in Idaho have already been issued this winter, and it's only December. Eyewitness News 3's Evan Thomason shows us why the threat is so high this early and how we can protect ourselves from this danger. It can happen in an instant, and the consequences are deadly. This year, it's come earlier than expected. We've got a lot of early season snow that sat on the mountain, got cold, went through some changes, and now we're getting a more dense, heavy snowpack on top of that, which creates the perfect avalanche scenario when given a steep enough terrain for it to slide on. The weather is constantly changing, and that determines the avalanche threat. Rich Gummersall says to watch the forecast carefully. If you're seeing a warming trend, if you have a storm that's more than one inch per hour or has dropped eight to 10 inches of snow, that's just putting a lot of new weight or load on the snowpack. That load needs a good 24 hours to settle out. A big mistake he has seen snowmobilers and skiers make is going out during these high danger times. New research from the Idaho Department of Parks and Recreation determined that 87% of avalanches in Idaho happen within eastern Idaho. Just last winter, two teenagers tragically passed away in Teton Valley while snowmobiling on steep terrain. Another area of high concern is between Sun Valley and Stanley. Just a few days ago, an avalanche warning shut down State Highway 75. We're gleaning a summit up near from Loman into Stanley, you know, they call that Avalanche Alley because it's so steep on both sides that as that new load comes down, it, it just slides and it slides naturally. So there's, there's no way to predict when it's gonna happen. Having the right equipment might end up saving your life. You have to have your safety gear. Safety gear is a transceiver, a probe and a shovel and then the important thing about having each of those is understanding how to use them when things go bad and you're put into a rescue scenario. With how cold eastern Idaho usually stays in the spring, the avalanche threat could linger all the way into May. Reporting in Idaho Falls, I'm Evan Thomason. The Idaho Department of Parks and Recreation is hosting an informational meeting on avalanches tonight at 6 at their Idaho Falls office. If you can't make it tonight, Rich Gummersall says there will be more classes in the next few weeks.